Imagine walking into your dentist's office, not for an implant, but to regrow a missing tooth. Now, the results of the USAG1 trials haven't been released, so there are many unknowns. Some of this I'm going to extrapolate from normal tooth development since exact details haven't been released. First, you'd get scanned to confirm there's a dormant tooth bud, your body's backup blueprint. Then one injection, a drug that blocks a protein called USAG1, which has been keeping that tooth from developing. In a few weeks, inside your jaw, cells are multiplying, the crown takes shape, layer by layer, enamel and dentin are made. By month four to six, if the gum swells slightly, your tooth is pushing towards the surface. Congratulations, you're teething again. Around month six or seven, it breaks through, still finishing its root formation, though deep in the bone. Follow-up visits make sure it's erupting straight and strong, and by the end of the year, you're biting into an apple with a fully integrated living tooth one that's yours for a complete do-over. The benefits? It's a real tooth, root, enamel, everything. It integrates with your jaw, feels naturally, and hopefully lasts a lot longer this time. But it's not instant, and it's not guaranteed. Risks include tooth growing out of alignment or not growing in at all. You may need braces to help guide the tooth incorrectly. You may need surgery to help uncover the tooth, should it get stuck erupting. And since this is a new science, long-term safety is still being studied. Would you choose a one to two year wait and possible orthodontics if needed for a real tooth or would you choose an implant? Leave your answer in the comment for a chance to win a Starbucks gift card.